The word allay means to calm, to ease. The doctor showed me the clean x-ray, allaying my fears that I might have broken a bone. Lisa very calmly explained the situation, allaying everyone's concerns about the company's financial future. The crummy weather did nothing to allay my disappointment with the entire weekend. Allay, to calm or ease. Ambulatory The word ambulatory means able to walk. After recovering from a knee surgery, my dog was finally ambulatory. She had spent nearly a week confined to her kennel, not able to walk around without help. Now my dog is moving slowly as she continues to recover. Soon she will be ambulatory and going for long walks every day. Ambulatory, movable, able to walk. Amiss the word amiss refers to something that seems wrong about a situation, when something is not right, or when something is out of order. When Peter turned on his television, he immediately knew that something was amiss, since he wasn't receiving any signal at all from any of the channels. He guessed that something might be wrong with the television itself, but more than likely there was something amiss with the cable system. He spoke to one of his neighbors who was also having problems, and that indicated that something was amiss on a much larger scale. Amiss. Not right. Out of place. Out of order. Amity. The word amity means friendship and peaceful harmony. Nicole and Michelle's deep amity was evident by their numerous smiling photographs together. Another usage is, to promote amity between their countries, the two presidents visited one another often. There was genuine amity between the two competitors. Each respected the other's talents. Amity, friendship. The word analgesic means a painkiller or a remedy for pain. The dentist gave her an analgesic before filling her cavity. When I broke my leg, the doctor administered an analgesic to reduce my pain. I could use an analgesic for my headache, but I don't like to take pills like aspirin. Analgesic, a painkiller. The word angular means having angles. It can also mean stiff and awkward. My aunt had a long, angular face that reminds me of a skeleton. The house had an interesting angular design and strangely shaped rooms. Although Rob was very warm and friendly, his brother was cold and angular and didn't mingle well at the family party. Angular, to have angles, to be ungraceful. The word append means to add on or to attach. After watching too many people speed through his neighborhood, Doug decided to append a homemade reminder to the speed limit sign posted on his street. At the end of her written complaint to the mayor, she appended several photographs and other documents to support her case. After thinking about it for a while, I decided to append my signature to the petition. Append. To add on. To attach. Aquatic. The word aquatic refers to living in or being done on the water or related to the ocean. Many people like watching aquatic mammals like dolphins perform tricks. At aquatic centers like SeaWorld in California, visitors are able to see seals, small whales, and other highly intelligent animals jumping through hoops and bouncing balls on their noses. In a way, these tricks are not at all that different than what humans do in circuses or even at the Olympics, where aquatic sports like diving are popular with audiences. Aquatic, having to do with the water. Arboretum. The word arboretum means a place where many different types of trees and shrubs are grown for study and exhibition. An arboretum can be useful to scientists who study trees because they bring together a variety of species that might not be found in the local environment. 
In a way, an arboretum is like a zoo for trees. At the National Arboretum in Washington, D.C., visitors can see rare specimens from all over the world, as well as trees like dogwoods and maples that are found in the United States. Arboretum, a tree farm used for studying trees. The word archaic means old and out of use. Leonard wore an archaic outfit from the 1970s to work the other day, but he thought he was looking pretty stylish. I didn't understand the old letter we found in my grandfather's attic because the language was archaic. Greg doesn't use computers but instead prefers to use archaic typewriters. Archaic, old and out of use. Archetype. The word archetype means a model, an original pattern, an ideal form. The airplane of the Wright brothers, which was the first to demonstrate that man can fly in the air for a sustained period of time, became an archetype for all planes to be developed afterwards. Though that style of dress is no longer in fashion, it became the archetype for dresses to follow. Glenn wasn't always the archetype of a good husband, but he was a nice fellow anyway. Archetype. A model, an original pattern. The word aseptic means germ-free. It can also mean lacking in emotion or warmth. After my mother cleans the bathroom, you can be sure it's aseptic. A surgeon needs aseptic instruments so the patient does not get an infection. The design of that house was very boring and aseptic, so we didn't even consider buying it. Aseptic. Germ-free. The word astral means related to stars or star-like. I was interested in improving my astral knowledge, so I bought a telescope and began looking at the night skies as a hobby. From a distance at night, the city had an astral glow. My astronomy professor was interested in astral shapes and what they revealed about the life cycle of a star. Astral related to stars or star-like. Atrocity The word atrocity means a horrible, violent, or cruel act. Most people today would regard crucifixion as an atrocity, but the ancient Romans used it as a regular form of execution. We sometimes think that humans were crueler or more inhumane long ago. But the fact is that modern societies have been guilty of even worse atrocities than the gruesome punishments carried out by rulers long ago. In the past hundred years, humans have carried out numerous genocides and have invented weapons that could destroy the planet. You could argue that such atrocities are some of the worst things that people have ever done. Atrocity, very cruel or evil behavior. 